Ho oh guys, welcome back. This is still the Android navigation. We'll be talking about the conditional application. We've actually start up, started with the first two screens, the title and the game fragments. Where we navigated from the title, we click on the play button, it takes us down to the game fragments where we could play the game. Uh, once you have a correct uh, selection, it takes you to the next game. But if you should pick the wrong answer, it takes you to a try again screen so we want to actually use this to handle conditional way of uh, uh, of navigation we'll be adding the game one fragment to the navigation graph by going to the navigation editor and clicking the add button as we've been doing and uh, we're going to add the fragment game one so let's get to see that game one over there so I'll kind of all right, I wanted to create more space, but we could easily just, I could put it this way, since it's going to be two, game one and uh, game over. So the next one we'll use, it, uh, we'll add a game over. Over there. Okay, game one, game over. So we could actually add this to this way. So we have the game one and the game over. Now we need to create an action connecting the game fragment to the game one fragment, which is this, the game fragment to the game one fragment over there. All right. And uh, we have that as an ID, which is action game fragment to game one fragment, let's see. So let's kind of reduce it. I think this is cool. All right. Now we're going to actually create another action connecting the game fragment to the game over fragment, which is this. Also do the same thing, and we're fine. So we've been able to connect that. Uh, cool. We need to find the nav controller from the view and navigate to the game one fragment. That's what we need to do. So we only do this. By adding down to the project, uh, in the project, uh, we're going to get go to the game fragments, and uh, in here, we're going to handle this particular portion with one. So you navigate to the game one fragment, game over. A wrong answer sends us to the game over fragment. So that's what we'll be doing in there. First is the game one. So we need to uh, call the the view. Do we have that? Let's see. All right, we do. And uh, we need to find the nav controller. This way. And call on navigate. Now we need to point at the appropriate ID, which is the action. Now we're going to call on the game fragment to the game one fragment, which is the game fragment to the game one fragment. This way, now we need to do for the game over fragment. But I could easily go back. I need to amend the idea just for the game over. We don't need it as two. We could just maintain one. Okay, okay with that. So back to our game fragment. Now for the game over, we're going to do the same thing. I will call view dot find nav controller dot navigate our dot id dot. Now we're going to go to the game over fragment. Just this way. So that's the way to go. So let's create a quick test and let's see. So we're going to answer some questions correctly. At the same time, we'll try to issue out the wrong answer. And let's see what we have. All right, then. Back to our emulator. All right. So we're going to actually have this refreshed.
okay let's click on the play now the layouts for complex screens ideally it is with constraint layout well let me pick the frame layout and see so we have to try again can you see that all right we've not undo the click button for the try again i would not undo the up button so we could easily use our back button now back button takes us back to the quiz uh android navigation component nav controller what is the android jetpack all of these Android vector format. We have the vector driver. Congratulations. Can you see that? So we've been able to undo uh, the nav controller conditionally. So if you've completed this, do this. If you've not, do that. We'll move further to make this much more robust and clean. In the next video, we'll talk about how to handle the backstack. Whereby we're doing the backstack manipulation. Please don't go anywhere. Thank you.